Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today I'm back with a bit of a news slash opinion rumors um, about Kodak Chemistry. If you have noticed, Kodak Chemistry has basically been gone missing from retailers and distributors and all this for a while now. And I've been trying to gather information about this topic, but it's been really hard to get anything from it. So let me give you a little backstory about Kodak Chemistry and what might have happened and why we are where we are and what might happen with Kodak Chemistry. So Kodak Chemistry obviously at the beginning was made by Kodak, but at some point when the bankruptcy happened, uh, Kodak Alaris took over the Kodak Chemistry name or distribution or whatever. And whoever was manufacturing was no longer Kodak, at least maybe it never was, but this time it wasn't. And for a long time, uh, Tetanol in Germany was one of the major uh, manufacturers of Kodak Chemistry. For example, this bottle of HC110, my favorite developer, was made by Tetanol in Germany. And this, or if not, yeah, made in Germany for Sino Promise. This one's actually made for Sino Promise. That comes later in the story. So this was made by Tetanol. But Tetanol, after 2018, I interviewed them at Photokina and they went bankrupt. They had some internal issues and a lot of things and they went bankrupt. And suddenly there was a blip of time where you couldn't find some Kodak products. Uh, Tetanol also finished products for Ilford and other manufacturers, you know, there's like private label that they call. Um, and this happened to disrupt the market for a little bit. After that, uh, Kodak Alaris sold their chemical division and paper and not the paper that, well, basically, yeah, I think the mini lab paper, the darkroom paper and so on to a company called Sino Promise, which was the, I think, biggest distributor in Asia, China for Kodak, Alaris, uh, chemicals, and so on. And these people started manufacturing or at least trademarking and selling uh, Kodak Chemistry and Kodak um, you know, paper through there. And like I said, this is made in Germany for Sino Promise. You can read it on the label down here. This was bought like a couple of months ago and uh, from Photo Impex here in Germany, in Europe. And this was okay, but at the same time, you might have noticed that the HC110 formula in the US changed. Instead of being this rectangular kind of bottle, it became a round, more liquidy syrup instead of the traditional like honey syrup from the HC110. We had issues with Extol getting all kind of weird chemical, like there was like it would turn brown when you developed or mixed it. D76 also did some weird stuff. And this was all because of these changes happening on who was manufacturing, or if somebody new was doing it, maybe they were not using the pure chemicals that the previous one was or something. And there was all kinds of statements from Kodak saying the chemistry is fine or whatever. This was happening meanwhile. But suddenly we start having a decline of you know chemicals coming our way. Uh, Tetanol is going through some stuff. They currently are not really producing much of anything. And that means that this stuff is kind of leaving the shelves. And God, you can see this bottle for on eBay for like 250 bucks, which is ridiculous. This used to be 40. Uh, so people are trying to gather that. And at the same time, like I said, Senior Promise in China, who owns now the, I guess, the rights to the Kodak chemistry and paper is starting to not ship. And I've asked people in the industry if they could give me any information. Nobody has gone on uh, you know, on record on what it is. But I've heard the Sino Promise where the, in the manufacturing or the paper finishing or whatever land is for sale. And Chinese real estate is actually in really deep trouble. You can research that if you want. This is not a channel about, you know, economic uh, and so on. But that means that Sino Promise is no more. Obviously, coming from China, there's not usually a lot of information about what's going on. But what we know is that Kodak chemistry is currently unavailable for the foreseeable future. And what that means is if Sino Promise owns the patents and the distribution and they've gone down, maybe somebody will buy the intellectual property. Or like someone told me, and I'm not sure about this, like I said, it's kind of a rumors, not really news and so, so my own assumptions. Maybe they didn't sell anything else but the distribution, but they retained, uh, Alaris retained the trademarks, the, the actual patents for HC110, D76, Extol, all these chemicals that we love from Kodak. And maybe they're just looking for a partner to be able to produce them again. So for example, uh, HC110 in the US seems to be in stock in B&H and other places. 
but in Europe, this old syrup version is long gone and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So if you are a big fan of a product like HD 110, D76, we have new chemical, well, new recipes being made by some smaller players. And I think if we are wanting to support film photography and we want to support black and white chemicals and we want to support small manufacturers, we should buy these products because as long as Kodak is not there, we should try to buy this from these people. If Kodak comes back, then you choose. But for example, Adox has brought back D76. It's actually their own uh, formula of D76. It has the Captura technology, which is no dust. It's kind of like a dry dust, so it doesn't really go into the air and you don't breathe it. You can mix it with uh, cooler temperatures, not so hot, which D76 needed it pretty warm. Uh, Bellini has created the Euro HC, which is very similar to this. Ilford always had their version of this, which was called Ilford, Ilford Tech or Ilford HC. Um, and you can just buy from these other players. I'm sure in the US, you probably have people like Flickfilm or other people that are maybe manufacturing some chemicals to help with Extol. I think uh, Photo Impex or Adox is doing XT3 for Extol. But yeah, you should check this out and see how you can solve your chemical needs. Like my needs are this. This gives me 33 liter liters in B uh, delusion. I have another bottle and it's 64 liters. So maybe a couple years more. And then I'll run dry of this and I'll support whoever is making something similar to my jam. Or you can go ahead and change completely to something that you actually can find every day, any day, like Ronanol or, you know, clones of Ronanol that there's tons of them. But yeah, the situation is from what I've heard, Sino Promise is closed. The land that they were on is for sale. And currently some of the distribution and the manufacturing of Kodak chemicals are either closed or semi-closed. And if you can find it, buy it and use it and enjoy it. And if not, find something else. Like I said, information coming from here, like Alaris hasn't really given any information about this. Uh, Kodak Rochester hasn't given any information about this. And as far as I know, Senior Promise hasn't either. So everything is kind of assumptions and rumors and talking behind stage, not on record, but it's what, all I can tell you. I honestly would love to see my favorite chemicals back in, uh, in order. Like I developed with this, obviously for paper, I have been using Ilford stuff but just support players that are in the market. And uh, it's sad to see, and I hope these long going formulas don't die off with Kodak and see no promise going under. And for paper, it's a bigger question mark because I'm not a user of Kodak paper, but I've heard that it's also been quite hard for a lot of mini labs and stuff that would do like the printing paper for Christmas and for postcards for grandmas and moms all around the world that want their pictures on paper but I'm guessing Fuji and some other players might be in the game there. But yeah, that's been all for this video. Uh, I would love to hear if there's a Kodak product you miss and if you can't find it locally, because obviously I can research online, but there's nothing better than you guys, the audience that can tell me like, hey, I can still find this in my local store because I think it'd be good. So definitely leave a comment below, let me know. And if you are interested, read the comments. Maybe there's something that will help you in your area to find a product you can use. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.